As far as the Lions and Steelers going off this weekend, both teams, apparently, according to Dan Campbell and the conversation with Mike Tomlin, that starters will be playing about a half for both of these teams. But Jared Goff is not part of the plan. I'm not surprised by this, Ryan. I'm sure you're not either. Jared Goff's, like, like I already said, his role is set. We know what he is. He's a starting quarterback this year. He's gotten plenty of reps in practice and, you know, working on, you know, he got into the season early with the wide receivers to work on, you know, that cohesiveness. It's, it's blow and boil. Who is going to be the backup? And it looks like for this game, at least to start, it sounds like Danny Campbell is leaning towards Tim Boyle to be the starter against the Steelers in this so final with preseason Goff game. not playing, I understand that 100%. You, of course, don't want him to get hurt. But since Goff isn't playing, I don't think there's anything that we can take away from this game because they're going to be out there without their starting quarterback. I guess you can see how the defense fares, but if Mitch Trubisky plays, you know, he's somebody who's tore the Lions defense up pretty much every single time that he, he's played them. You know, he hasn't torn anybody else up, but as soon as the he sees the Lions on the field opposite of him, he turns into Dan Reno. So we're going to see that I expect the offensive line to block pretty well, and they are going up against a Steelers defensive line that includes T.J. Watt. I, I don't exactly know if T.J. Watt's going to play. Um, you know, like I said, they, I know you just said that they want to play the starters the entire first half, but teams say that, and then they end up sitting like the important guys like Goff anyway. So it'd be cool to see T.J. Watt go up against, you know, like Panay Sewell, and that's something that I'd be looking forward to. But in terms of the outcomes of this game or even how the offense looks, without Jared Goff, it seems like it's pretty moot to me. Some interesting things to look for in this game. Apparently, the Steelers are having some issues with their offensive line. Mike Tomlin not happy with the performance so far in the preseason by his O-line. So it should be interesting to see the Lions starting defensive line against the Steelers O-line to see just if there's a mismatch there that the Lions can take advantage of, get to see a little bit of Hutch, and then, you know, try and ball out against a Steelers team that's you know, for the most part, been one of the better teams in the NFL over the last 20 years. Uh, another thing is that apparently Kenny Pickett can win the starting job for the first game of the season with a good performance against the Lions this week. Apparently that is still up in the air and it is not Mitch's well, I mean, job yet. You're going to get a good performance. It's going to be against the Lions. So it's <laughs> so I guess he's I guess he's set up pretty well there. It's worked in the past. And I, I don't know. I feel like I'd still be shocked if... Kenny Pickett was the week one starter for Pittsburgh. Um, but, you know, anything can happen. I thought Trubisky's played pretty well, at least throughout the preseason. Not that Pickett hasn't, but Trubisky's usually been the one going against the other team's first team defense or, you know, what they set out as the first team of their defense in the preseason, I guess. So that would, that would be kind of surprising to me. But, yeah, man, if there's a time that you can win the job, it's going to be when the Lions are on the other side. <laughs> well, I mean, look, that's that's a secondary that Kenny Pickett can pick apart. And we've seen it through these last two weeks uh, in the preseason. Our secondary is god-awful. And there, and there's no mints in the words there. It's just not been good. And, I mean, you, you gave up the game-winning touchdown against the Falcons. You gave up the game, what should have been a game-tying touchdown against the Colts. But the Colts decided to go for two. And you were able to get pressure on Jack Cohn, formerly of Notre Dame and Wisconsin, to throw it to nobody in the end zone and escape with a one-point victory. The first for Dan Campbell in the preseason as a Lions head coach and the first for the Lions since 2018. But that secondary has been awful. And... Kenny Pickett can absolutely win the starting job by throwing for three touchdowns against this uh, secondary. I agree with you. I don't think it's in Pickett's best interest to start right away. We've just we've seen it just be a disaster for so many rookie quarterbacks. Uh, where, but those are usually rookie quarterbacks on bad teams. So maybe when you're on a team that's not bad, like Joey Harrington had to deal with in Detroit, maybe it's not the worst thing, but generally we like to see the rookies kind of ease into the role and, you know, maybe two thirds of the way through the season, they now are the starter as opposed to right there in week yeah, one. I, I mean, if the Lions are in a similar situation, you know, next year, if they end up getting a rookie quarterback, I think it'll be kind of the same process, right? Pickett wasn't like a number one overall pick or anything. And sometimes those guys get to start right away because you've used such high draft capital on them. 
But typically when you pick a guy, you know, 20th is where I think picking one. You get a little bit more leeway with not starting them right away. Because if they're ready to start right away, they probably would have been picked in the top five. So I, I expect still Trubisky to be the starter and pick it to eventually get the job. But again, I don't see that happening in week one at all. And it's probably, you know, in Pickett's best interest, in the Steelers' best interest for that to happen. The biggest thing I want to see, I want to see a test with Najee Harris. We didn't have to deal with, you know, with the starting running back for the Colts. Jonathan Taylor did not play in that game. And Najee Harris is, you know, one of the better young backs in football. Had a hell of a rookie campaign last year. So I would like to see our starting defensive line, who has looked pretty good against the run. They shut down the Colts. Again, it was not... Jonathan Taylor, but they did shut down the Colts rushing attack last week. I held them to like 30 yards. So I'd like to see in that first half, our defensive line against the, the Steelers offensive line, which apparently has been underperforming, but also with Najee Harris running behind them to see how they do against in what is in my mind, a more elite it'll, running. Yeah, game. it'll certainly be interesting. I don't expect it to go very well for the Lions because their linebacking room is probably the weakest unit on the team and it's not like their front four is so great either which is typically not a recipe for success against a great running back which is what <clears throat> Najee Harris is and I expect for the limited time that Najee Harris is on the field to be able to get some work in against the Lions and not have a whole lot of resistance doing so yeah I mean they're apparently getting better, and I'd love to see them, you know, see if they can hold Najee to under four yards of carry. But in the passing attack, it's a whole other animal, and I'm sure Najee's going to get plenty of yards, you know, if he even plays in this game and how much he plays in this game. You know, that, that would obviously skew his numbers a little bit. But just as a flat-out runner, I want to see that. I want to see them go up against this guy and to see if they have a chance to shut him down and see if there's been improvement there on that defensive line, you know, seeing... You know, not so much Anzalone, but seeing, you know, Rodriguez in a, in a chance, you know, a one-on-one -on -one with the Harris and see if he can take him down. Fun things like that in the preseason. But no, I mean, I'm, I'm with you. Obviously, I don't have high expect expectations for this team. This defense especially, it needs a lot of work, especially in that secondary. But, you know, I've liked what I've seen from the effort side of things when it comes to a lot of our new young guys. And, you know, I'd like to see them in real situations against the guys that you're going to see throughout the rest of the season and not so much second and third stringers. So there are some things I'm looking forward to in this Steelers-Lions matchup, and uh, hopefully the uh, yeah, Lions no, I think that was a, a good call-out by you. I didn't mean to you know, poo-poo all over it. I just, think, I just, don't, I just don't think they're going to have a lot of success. <laughs> not enough. Najee Harrison, it will be uh, kind of what's expected. <laughs> Well, we will find out it is the final preseason game of the of the NFL season before the real season kicks off shortly.